Hi, welcome back to Digital Learning. I'm Connie Colosi, Director of Media, Text, and Digital Learning, and I'm here today with Corinne McManning and Laura Woods. And we are uh, talking about our recent visit to Tarpon Springs Fundamental, their after-school video production program, and uh, the, where the kids are doing some exciting things and having a lot of fun in the process. So um, what we've already seen is that uh, uh, Kelsey Morris is a student at uh, Palm Harbor University High School, and she and a couple of her friends, as their service proje project, are mentoring the students at Tarpon Springs Fundamental Elementary in video production. So um, one of the uh, uh, key components that your department supports are the video production um, studios for the morning news at these various schools. Right. And so um, each one kind of takes their own take on it. It takes on the flavor of the of the person managing it. Um, and Michelle gets to talk to us a little bit about her program. So let's hear from Michelle. My morning news program uh, consists of my fifth graders and based upon the number of fifth graders that I have that apply for the program determines how long they're actually on the news program. This year their semester. So I have two groups. They come in in the morning, they write the script, they film. We don't record, we actually produce live because we never know when Dr. Miles, our principal, comes in or another guest comes in to speak, so we're always live and five days a week. Protect the best and safety first. Have a Tigerific Friday. Roar! The students behind me are actually working on Sounds Abounds. They're going ahead and they're finding their music clips that they want to put down as background music or um, sound clips. I know I have um, a couple of students that are doing a rock, paper, scissors, so they wanted a sound effect for the rock, rock paper, scissors. So we are using Sounds Abound for those things. So we have some people that might be watching that don't know what Sounds Abound is. Sounds Abound is our opportunity to get uh, rights-free music that we can utilize in our movie productions. And we have several um, catalogs that we can use from them. The students have so much enjoyed just finding the music. That has been enjoyable for them. They're utilizing their storyboards. And as they're looking at their storyboards, they're determining what kind of music what effect do, do they want at that time in their story? Finding music that relates to it. They're saving it actually to their OneDrive. Um, each one of them has opened their OneDrive and are saving it to their OneDrive. And then when it comes time to actually, they will import it actually into their video. We're editing the videos on iMovie. This is the first year we're actually using the iMovie. Last year, we put um, Windows movie maker on these computers and I felt like it was time to take our students to the next level up that they could interact a little bit more with the editing process so we decided to go ahead and use iMovie so I'm kind of excited to see you know the product the results because I did notice a very a, a big difference last year with how the video actually looked versus a couple of years before when we had used iMovie. I think Movie Maker is easier to use, but iMovie is much more creative. So Laura, what are you seeing out there? She talked quite a bit about the particular uh, applications she's using. Um, what are you seeing out there in terms of the kinds of equipment that schools are using for video production? Well, the schools are using both cameras and iPads as their video uh, the video cameras and depending upon the creation software they're using if they're using cameras they like to use the Windows Movie Maker but if they're using the iPads they use iMovie both are great and they do a nice job and we're encouraging all of the media centers to create um, a maker video production station so that the kids have a spot to go and work on their their projects if somebody's not available they still know what they're doing so they just go sit down and get busy how do media specialists or other teachers learn how to do all of this? I mean, this is uh, quite a bit of uh, technology for them. 
Well, it is, and they do, we offer training. We do one-on-one -on -one training. When Corrine goes out and sets things up, she does the one-on-one -on -one -on -one training, which is really good, because that helps. But you know what? These kids are so tech savvy, and they are so ready that all you have to do is show them a little bit, just like with the TriCasters. There's so much in there that they can create these incredible sets, and once they see it, they run with it. And they're not afraid to push all the buttons and make everything work. As long as they don't break it. That's right. <laughs> um, we had the opportunity to speak with one of the young actresses and uh, creators of these uh, programs here at Tarvin Springs Fundamental, and she is just darling, and so let's take a look. The summary of my story is basically the voice, but a Taylor Swift and Gene Simmons c competition, and it's basically pop and rock coming together and like doing a competition. So it's like the the voice. We still have Jennifer Hudson and um, all those other judges, but two of them only. So yeah, it's just the voice. What's your character? I'm Taylor Swift in the perform in the video. So you're gonna really sing? No, I'm gonna lift sneak it. I'm not gonna sing. Sing, yeah. So who do you think is gonna see this video? I think the people of Pinellas County are gonna judge the video, like the judges on The Voice, but they're gonna judge the video and see how it looks and see if it's good. I do it because I love acting and it's one of my f passions. I've been doing it for three years and I just think this would be a good example of what I do, yeah. Excellent, so if they do it again next year, do you plan to stay with it? I really do plan to stay with it. <laughs> so we see the kids getting an opportunity to work with the green room and um, you know, it, you uh, literally transport yourself to someplace else. And uh, we see the kids out uh, running in the field, experimenting with a parachute. Uh, our, little, uh, our little Frenchman there was all excited and put his own costume together, had the hat and all. So these kids really get into this. So um, this whole idea of this video production club at Tarpon Springs Fundamental Elementary came from a high school student at Palm Harbor University High School um, who needed some service hours. So they need, they need to, to volunteer somewhere. They need to come up with an idea. And so this was the creative idea to come back to something that had meant a lot to her in, in her elementary days. Um, Talk to us about the importance of, of mentorship in these programs. Well, it's good when these high school kids that have gone through the whole program and they've learned all these skills are willing to give back to the younger students that are just beginning. Because it not only shares the information, but it solidifies with the high school kids the knowledge they already have and it helps them grow as well. So it's creating bridges in many directions. So actually, you've got a vision coming up it's uh, not, not there yet, but we'll share because it's exciting where not only is it high school kids uh, mentoring younger grade uh, children here, but also a partnership with St. Petersburg College. Yes. We are putting together a mentor program there where the video production graduate, collegiate graduates, or either they've already graduated or in their last year, are willing to mentor, come back and mentor middle and high school students. And this is going to help both because it gives the high school students the opportunity to see what the college kids are doing. So it, t it ties in with their future. If they want to take what they're doing, move it forward, then that would be something they can do in the future. And at the same time, the college kids are getting real life experience. And that's a big piece because that's something they can put on their resume that is valuable and it makes them more hireable, marketable. So sometimes uh, we get accused of only caring about the test scores. Um, and this has nothing to do with test mm -hmm. scores, but yet it does. So how does the, the skills that they learn from this translate into s straightforward academic learning? Well, this is creating problem solvers. These kids are being given the opportunity to figure something out and use what knowledge they have and what information to build something. And this is what we want them to be able to do, even with the FSA. They've got to be able to go in and find things 
For example, with text-based learning, the kids have to find information in the text. It's all problem solving. It's thinking. It's teaching them to think and produce. And that's what we want them to be. We want them to be successful. We want them to leave our wonderful education establishment and move into their future and be successful. This is where we're going. And when Ms. Morris was talking, um, she also was talking about the kids first created their storyboard. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the writing piece of this because they not only have to write, then they have to go back in and edit and re-edit and re-edit. And the teachers can look at this, see what the kids have written, and then suggest tweaks so that it's written appropriately. But the kids are still doing all the work, and that's the other part of this, is they are being creative, but they are also using the writing and the reading skills. So as they think about their story and moving the story along and um, trying, to, trying to visualize it, um, it is just, we're also getting the speaking, um, the listening. Oh, yes. Um, and um, so it, it does have great academic benefit and it's true project-based learning. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, we are in the process of, uh, many schools are developing Emma's. Is it too late? Oh, no. No, no, no. They just need to get busy if they're going to be doing this. And they have until the 16th of February, as I said. And lots can be done in a six-week window, which is basically what they have from the time we get back. So all they have to do is get busy. And if they need help, all they have to do is contact us. Tell us again what that end of the year celebration looks like for the winners. Oh, they're going to be at the St. Pete College Seminole Campus Digitorium, and it's called the Night in the Lights, where the kids will be able to be Oscar winners of their own. And they'll be on the stage, they'll be getting their awards, and we've got some new things planned for them, So, and that's a surprise for the future. <laughs> So thank you for joining us today as we visited Tarpon Springs Fundamental Elementary School and saw their video production club that meets after school, but also learning about the um, TV production classes that take place in school and um, the opportunity to develop these videos to be submitted to Emma's. Um, we got great things coming and we'll be sure and let you know how Tarpon Spring Fundamental does when they enter their videos in the Emma contest. Join us next time on Digital Learning.